family have been here for between 50 and 60 years. Um, when I retired, I wanted to make sure it was taken over by somebody that was going to look after the land. And uh, when we were approached by Avon Wildlife Trust, we were so pleased with what they wanted to do that uh, we didn't have to think long about them taking it over. I think our biggest achievement so far yeah. has been getting a big range of volunteers in with lots of different skills and everyone's been able to contribute to that and turn the project around really, really quickly from being just pasture land Speaking across the site. Um, <laughs> our va most valiant volunteers. Yeah, these, two, these Marie, two women. This is our biggest success so far. Yeah. Helped us create some of the magnificent things. <laughs> yeah. so turning the land from just being grass pasture yeah. into interesting looking beds which welcome people in as they come onto the site and come and get to use it. So a phenomenal amount of work. So the biggest achievement is just having those people being really enthusiastic and keen to see the project happen. Uh, what I think is great about the project yeah, is that it does offer the opportunity for a whole range of people to come out and spend a couple of hours a week if that's what they've got, two days a week if they, that's what they've got, once a month, whatever, because it's flexible enough that you know, people can come and go. Um, so yeah, lots of different people come here. We've had primary school groups in, people passing by the local community really like it because it's kind of using this land that has been derelict for a while. Also quite a lot of different supported living groups come in, as well as some people on probation and a few corporate days, so really, really all sorts. And different people get different things out of it. I think some people are looking for a connection to the land and to learn skills about growing. For other people it's a great place to come outdoors, get a bit of physical activity, relax maybe, especially when the sun is shining. I, I work for Freeways Trust and um, I've been, I've got this group and it's, it's been called the Garden Group and it's been running for about 14 years. Um, yeah, we found out about Feed Bristol and um, we thought it was a really good place to come because they can get, you know, exercise, they can be outdoors, um, they meet lots of interesting people, nice people as well actually, and um, yeah, 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 they seem to really enjoy it and uh, hopefully we'll be able to come here for quite a while now actually. Uh, been very well looking on that pond today though. And <coughs> look at you. And uh, <coughs> that coming here reminds me do yeah. And what car we do. It's often oh, something oh. which people can really, really see the changes oh. that they're making. So they'll come one week, they might plant some lettuce. A few weeks down the line they can really see what they've grown and then take it away and eat it. And I think with that there's a sense of achievement and kind of ownership of something which can be really nice and therapeutic as well. There's a, group, there's a group from the local nursing home that's going to be getting involved who have dementia and we've actually started delivering vegetables to some of the uh, nursing homes around as well. And one of the key things is that the manager there says she can see the difference in their well-being and their health when we turn up with the vegetables and eat nice fresh organic vegetables. Um, it ties in quite well with my work with the Soil Association, so rather than being in an office four days a week, this one day gets me sort of out and about doing something, growing things to organic standards. Um, and just being able to put into practice on a lot of things that I tell people do throughout the rest of the week. And the amount of initiative that's come out of people feeling enthusiastic about the project, when we were first starting to get volunteers in and talk to people about the site and explain the aims of the project, people were very much taking direction from myself and Matt, and that still happens as new people come in, but the people who have been here for the last three or four months, just there's a real, real positive energy about the project, and there's a lot of people taking initiative and, and really running with creating really beautiful spaces. It's a lovely, quiet, peaceful, beautiful space to spend time with. With your hands in the earth, growing stuff, reconnecting for nature. It's what loads of people need. Personally, I think we um, Some people are coming in very regularly on a long-term basis and really building up their skills around growing. Other people uh, are coming in and, yeah, really appreciating the the wildlife in the space, we've got badger sets and foxes, a lot of birds and uh, um, butterflies, bees. <laughs> There's a lot of wild food on the site as well as all the 
um, annual crops that we're growing. So we're growing potatoes and carrots and beans and pumpkins and all the rest of it. But we've also got in the hedgerows, we've got apples and plums and damsons and sloes and hazelnuts. So yeah, there's a lot of foraging to do as well as a lot of cultivating. What's your favourite thing about today? A bit blowy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sugar in or something. Two things. I've been doing. One is berry picking, and the other is walking the potatoes. Just kind of stewing them a little bit, cool. boiling it a little bit. I think this has got lots of sugar in it as well. A bit of sugar in it. I've, I've and do you like growing your own food? I don't. I don't. I don't. I do generally one day a week to to learn horticulture. Um, Matt, who's the project manager, is has a real passion for what he does and I like that and Susan's very good and knowledgeable and, and has a passion for what she does. So being in a group of people that are passionate about what they do is really good. Just shipping the compost and the here for the and yeah, I'm sorry for the tomatoes. I am. And what is it that you like about coming here? I'm just enjoying it. I do. Nice to there's a nice bunch of people here. And you get to take some vegetables home? Yes, I do, yeah. Yeah. And tomatoes, I grow my own tomatoes, I do. But this is growing the most organic way that I've seen. From everything from cutting up the slugs to picking, um, picking them off and planting great green manure as well than spraying everything with fertilizers it's, and pesticides. It's a lovely, like, organic sort of setting with all the rest of the flowers and plants around as well. Everyone gets a share of the harvest. So as people have been coming for workshops or sessions, they get to take home any of the harvest um, but we've also been delivering it to certain places so some, there's a couple of community cafes that we've taken it along to it's the Wild Goose Wild Goose which is a cafe for homeless people um, to drop into because it, it, it's a very good job so and I like coming back so I get three days a week when I can come and play which is what I like doing with my hands in the soil, growing vegetables, a bit of fruit, 